I'm not taking a picture, I'm videoing. <laughs> Hello, I'm the Travel Troll. I'm talking quietly because we're in a cathedral. Norwich Cathedral, and it is amazing. You've never seen anything like this. Well, you probably have, but not in Norwich. Um, there's a few things I want to talk about while we're in here. I've taken a lot of pictures, and I'll just whisper a few things in your ear as we're going around. What's your impression so far? Oh, it's amazing. It's really beautiful. I suppose we should start by talking about when it was built. Mm-hmm. You've heard of Bishop Herbert, haven't you? Mm, no. <laughs> Bishop Herbert came up with the idea to build this place back in 1096. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but he died before before it was done. What was it you just asked me? Oh, how long did it take to build? To build the cathedral? Mm, yeah. 149 years. Wow, I'm not surprised. <laughs> amazing. Right, we're walking down here now. See how there's all these archways? Yeah. Do you know what they call this? Archways like this. This is the cloisters. Oh. And this is the second largest cloisters in the United Kingdom. Oh yes. That's quite special. It is. I told you that it took 149 mm -hmm. years, yeah? Yeah. Just after they built it, 23 years later, the spire um, got hit by lightning in the old place, set on fire. Oh. It'd be gutted after working for 149 oh. years, yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, they had to rebuild it again. It's not anymore, but it used to be the largest building in East Anglia. Uh, East Anglia is the big bit which sticks off the UK where we are now. Have you noticed anything about this cathedral different to any other which you've been in? No. Have you noticed how quiet it is? Yeah. Could you imagine this making a noise on the hour, every hour, or on a Sunday morning or anything like that? Probably. Why, how would it make that noise? Dum. With bells? With bells? <laughs> yeah. There's no bells. Oh, is there not? This is one of only three cathedrals in the United Kingdom without bells. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Mm. <laughs> I wonder why. Now you don't get a building as impressive as this without having movies and things being filmed here. Things have been filmed. Do you want to hear what? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever even heard of them. In 2012, a BBC4 documentary called The Medieval Mind, How to Be Build a Cathedral. Yeah, that, <laughs> I haven't seen that. It was in a film in 2013 called Jack the Giant Slayer. I think I've heard of that. I'm not sure. No, no, no. <laughs> don't ring a bell for me. A documentary. Ah, oh, I'd like to see that. Documentary, The Search for the Lost Manuscript, Julian of Norwich. Oh. Now we've just been to yeah. Julian's shrine and she wrote a book. Yeah. I wonder if that's what they were looking for. There's three famous burials that have taken place here which I wanted to talk about, but I can't find any of them at the moment. We've got Edith Cavill, who I'll move on to in a, bit, in a minute. I've got a good story about her for you. Thomas Gooding, who is known as the skeleton, but I don't know where he is, and uh, Sir Geoffrey Boleyn. <laughs> you know the name Boleyn? As in Anne Boleyn? I think it's her dad. He was buried here. He is buried here. Do you know I said it burnt down? Yeah. Because it got hit by lightning not long after it had been built. Yeah. It happened again. Well, what happened is the church were going around the town collecting the taxes, the tolls mm -hmm. from everybody, because churches used to do that. And the town folks weren't happy because they were paying too much in taxes and tolls. So they went on a bit of a riot and they came here and they set fire to the roof, burnt all the roof off the church. Not a very lucky church back in them no. days. And you're never going to believe what happened in 1463. Oh, it happened again. What happened again? <laughs> Got burned out. Lightning struck it again and it burnt oh the roof God. off again. What an unlucky cathedral. I'd have made the next roof out of stone. Yeah. Tarmac slate. Lead. Lead. <laughs> and in 1643 an angry mob came here and they just destroyed all the religious things in here. Oh. Which is what they used to do back in them days. I think it were a Catholic Protestant problem thing. 
I don't know if it was the Reformation in that year or what, I don't know. But yeah, an angry mob, it says. Not just a mob, an angry mob. Like, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to be in a church as like a bishop or a priest and a mob coming up and starting on me, would you? No. But can you imagine an angry mob? I'm not sure if you can see them on the camera because it's so high up. I think they're called bosses, anyway. Um, how many of them do you think there are? Oh, wow. Um, 1,200? 1,200. Well, in this actual part, there's 225. Oh, OK. <laughs> but in the entire cathedral, 1,106. Oh, wow. Well, I weren't far off. You weren't far off. Good guess. It's supposed to be some of the best medieval art in Britain, but I can't see them. They're too high up. Now, let's play a little game. You've got to guess the size of the cathedral. How long do you think it is in feet? My feet or your feet? <laughs> a foot is in 12 inches. Right, OK. I don't know. 1,200. 1,200 <laughs> feet? Yeah. Uh, 461 feet long. So yeah. how wide do you think it is? 300. 72 feet oh. wide. <laughs> The nave, which is this bit, how tall do you think it is? 14 foot. How many? 14. 14? Yeah. 14 foot? Yes. <laughs> uh, 69 foot. <laughs> and in the organ down there, did you notice the organ? Yeah, it's lovely. How many pipes do you think are in that organ? 100. 100. Yeah. 6,655 pipes. Oh my gosh. Imagine repairing that. Imagine cleaning that. No man, repairing it, cleaning it. So I've been going around the cathedral looking at interesting history and things. I could not find Mazzy anywhere. Couldn't find her anywhere. Where have you been, Mazzy? What have you been looking at? I found a big chocolate pot. A big chocolate pot? Yeah. Would you like to tell us about the chocolate pot? It's a font and it was... A font? Originally used for making chocolate. Originally used for making chocolate. Is it full of chocolate now? No, it was water and money. Water and money? Yeah. I've got an apology to make, Mazzy. All right, OK. Inside, I was telling you about the second largest cloisters yeah. in the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. thinking that that part we were walking down was a cloister. I've realised that isn't a cloister. This is the cloister. Oh. It looks the same. Yeah. But it's outdoors and it's, it's like a big square. I think they have them at like Oxford and Cambridge universities, this kind of thing. And a big square in the middle. And I think, well, I know this is the cloister. Second biggest in the UK. Beautiful. Full of graves on the floor and we're walking on them. I'm not keen on that bit. I'll be honest. Just one more thing to do while we're here. I'm trying to get to the grave of Edith Cavill to tell you a story about a very important, very wonderful, superhuman woman from World War I. So that thing you've just been stood in the middle of there. Yeah. I've uh, just been reading about it on here. Look, it's a... If you can see that on camera. It's a labyrinth, a maze, which they did in 2002 to commemorate the Queen's Golden Jubilee.
just walking away from the cathedral now and it's quarter to three. Do you know how we know it's quarter to three? Because there's a clock. Because there's a clock, yeah, but there were a noise. Bells! <laughs> uh, the bell just went off at yeah. the cathedral, which I was told doesn't have bells. So just so that you don't look, put things in the comments saying it has got bells, Dan, you don't know what you're talking about. I just got it off the internet. I just got it off the internet. <laughs> it's not my fault. We definitely heard bells and it seemed to be coming from the yeah. tower of the cathedral. So I'm sorry if I got that wrong. I'm just going on what some annoying person put on the internet and I copied. I hate being wrong. Maybe it ain't got bells. It might have been from behind. It's possible. possible. So I've been trying to tell you the story of Edith Cavill, but uh, we went to a grave, didn't we? Just at the yeah. side of Norwich Cathedral. And just as we got there, a man sat down and started eating his sandwiches <laughs> right next to us. So I couldn't talk in front of it. So I'm sat on a bench now, just at the other side of the cathedral, with Mazzy. And uh, Mazzy doesn't know about Edith. Neither do you. I'm going to tell you all about her. Edith Cavill. So Edith, she was born in December 1865. Yeah. And she was the eldest of four. And her daddy was a, a vicar for 45 years. She was born just outside Norwich. Right. You want more, don't you? Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Just to get the really boring stuff out of the way, okay? She, she was, she, she was a governess, a nurse in a London hospital. Then she went to Brussels um, to be a nurse, and then she was a matron at a hospital at St Giles in 1910. It's all boring stuff. I'm not going into detail with that. It's what she does later which we're interested in. So Edith, she was a nurse in Brussels, okay? Um, Brussels, Brussels in Belgium, and the Germans took over there in World War I. Mm -hmm. And what Edith was doing as a nurse, she was sneaking the English soldiers out of Belgium into Holland, because Holland was neutral, they weren't part of the war back then. So she was helping British soldiers get out of World War I and escape the Germans. Now the Germans, they started to get suspicious about Edith. They thought yeah. she's up to no good her. We had all these English people here and there's none now. Where, where have they all gone? <laughs> they thought it was a nurse. And she was very outspoken against the Germans for what they were doing. So they decided to just arrest her. And uh, they charged her, I don't know what with. Something to do with not being good. And she got sentenced to something like 10, hang on a second, 10 weeks got sentenced to 10 weeks in prison, the last two in solitary confinement. Do you want to know more? Yeah. <laughs> she actually admitted that she had about 60 British soldiers, 15 French soldiers, and about 100 French and Belgians had sheltered in her house while she was there. Wow. So she had a lot of men in her house. <laughs> a lot of men. Now, is she trying to get them out of the war and save their lives, blah de blah de blah, or did she just like men? She was a good woman. She was a good woman. All the hundred and odd men thought so. <laughs> so after admitting she had all these men, mm -hmm. um, the Germans, she was court-martialed or something, <coughs> and she was prosec prosecuted for aiding uh, British and French soldiers. And do you know what she got sentenced to by the Germans? Are you going to tell me? Death. Oh my God. Death. They were going to oh put her down, that. they were going to put her to death. Um, the penalty, according to German law, was death. Wow. And the British government could do nothing about mm. it to help her. She was only a nurse. Mm. So there was nothing the British could do because we were in the war against Germany. But I'll tell you who could come to us help, to Edith's help. Who? The Americans. Oh, the yeah, Americans okay. hadn't joined the war yet. So the Americans got in touch with the Germans and they said, in, in American, not German. Mm -hmm. I think, I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they communicated. <laughs> but the Americans said to the Germans, look, we're not in the war. We haven't picked a side yet. It's in your interest to let this poor Edith go. The Germans ignored that and they were going to put her down to death. Sentenced mm -hmm. her to death. So um, 16 men forming two firing squads stood in front of her at 7 o'clock on the 12th of October 1915 and you know what happened next? What happened? The, the shot her. Oh, that's 
so sad. That is sad. So her body was buried over there and then it was brought back to England later on after the war. Um, went to Westminster Abbey in London and then eventually back here to this very, very spot. Now, now you know I told you about these 16 people who shot her? Mm -hmm. Now there's another report that that didn't actually happen. Right. <laughs> there's another report saying that she fainted in front of the firing squad because she refused to wear a blindfold and just as they were about to fire, she fainted and fell on the floor. So one officer just went over to her and shot her in the head with a pistol. Either way, she did get shot. So the last thing I want to say about Edith is in 2015, they put her on the back of a five pound coin to commemorate uh, the centenary of World War One, Something like that. Look, can you hear the bells? <laughs> now that's the tower of the cathedral. I can hear bells. So why have I read that it is one of only three cathedrals without, but maybe it's, maybe they're new. They might be brand new. There's people in there with scaffolding sorting things out. You can hear it, you can hear it as well as I can, can't you? Three? Yeah. It only runs three times. It's not three o'clock, it's four o'clock. So that's the end of Norwich Cathedral. What did you think? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. You know, Cathedrals and churches, they're not even my kind of thing really. We don't we don't love going around churches and cathedrals, but some of them can be very interesting. Uh, what's your mark? Nine. Nine out of ten? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, I'll have to go along with that. Nine out of ten. There are bigger better cathedrals in the UK but I haven't been to them yet but I know for a fact that's one of the best that's the best I've ever been in I think apart apart from York Minster maybe um, but yeah nine out of ten the one thing I would say is it's donations you don't have to pay to get in but there's a big sign on the way in and there's only one way in so this is the donation point and a lady sat behind a desk who says you don't have to give a donation um, but it is very much appreciated uh, we do ask an, an average donation of about five pounds. So each. <laughs> so I felt I had to give her ten pounds. So it isn't free. It, you're not going to get in there free, trust me. But yeah, lovely cathedral. Get yourself there. Um, and they do guided tours as well. But we didn't need one because we're profe I'm professional. Yeah. Thanks for joining at Norwich Cathedral. See you at the next. Goodbye. Many thanks for watching guys, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, leave a comment and share the video. And be sure to check out my other channel Deep Digger Dan and my website thetraveltroll.uk. You can also follow me on Facebook, on Twitter and on Instagram. But most importantly please do donate to the charity which we're supporting in this county. All links to everything I've just mentioned are all in the description below. Please come back tomorrow as we continue our adventure to try and make the biggest video library of the sites of the UK. Goodbye!